What's going on, everybody? It's me, it's your boy, JC, and I am back after a couple days of being off. We are here with some interesting repacks. I've got these from Walgreens. This one cost me about $8. It's the Football Superstars, and it is a repack by Three Bros and a Card Store. So we're going to see some interesting things on that. If you're wondering why I got this, I mean, look at that Terry Bradshaw card from Don Ross. Tell me that's not a freaking beauty of a card. And on the back, you can see they have the playoff cards, so I'm expecting some nice finds in this one. And we'll also be taking a look at the Baseball Collector's Edge repack, and I believe this is distributed by the Fairfield Company. So, we're just going to see what happens, man. I, I know I've done the football version of this box specifically, and I think I might have did a bonus rip with this one time. But um, nonetheless, it's something to rip, and you know, there's cool little things to buy. You know, they're cheap, they're cool. And without further ado, let's see what we got. Um, we'll save baseball for last since we uh, never did that one yet. We'll start off with the football repack from Three Brothers in a Card Store. Pretty easy to open. You won't have to see me fighting with the box this time. That was really easy, actually, because it's the resealable plastic. We'll get that out of here, and we'll get into the repack. All right. Carefully. Very nice. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. First off, we got the Terry Bradshaw Legends of the Fall, which is a really nice-looking card. I like that one a lot. And we got some Donruss of Matt Milano. We got an Iconic Silver. Is it a good player? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, wait, I missed one. It's a throwback Donruss, and that's going to be Chris Warren from the Seahawks. That's pretty cool, actually. Is this actually from the modern-day Donruss, or...? I think it is. Oh, wow, wait, no, 1996. Whew. I wasn't even born yet, and that's crazy. So Chris Warren, and on the iconic silver, we have Vaughn Miller. Not the most desired player, but it is a true silver on the prism. And behind him, we have Wes Welker on the Topps Stadium Club. Nice looking card, nice action shot. And this is going to be from 2008. So, wow, look at that. Moving on here, we got some more Prism, which I love to see. We got Raheem Mostert. We got an upper deck from 1992, 93. It looks like it's going to be Anthony Munoz from the Bengals. Just to make sure this is a 1990s card, right? I believe it is. On the top corner. Yep, that's going to be a 92 card, guys. So that's a real big throwback. And another throwback, we got Proline Portrait. Oh, man, I know the face. I just don't remember the name. That's going to be Junior CO. So that's a that's a legendary charger. Uh, gone way too soon. I believe he passed, right? Yeah. But, hey, man, that's a nice-looking card. Look at those pants. God, was styling and profile. Really cool. And on the pro set, we have Super Bowl Superman. This is going to be Tom Flores, the coach of the Raiders. And that's going to be from 1990. Pretty nice card for a 1990 card. And we got a Joe Flacco tops. Whoa, when he was actually in his prime on the Ravens. That's going to be from 2012. So three years removed from his big Super Bowl win. Super Bowl MVP year. Very nice. We got Charles Johnson um, from the Steelers. And that's on the throwback Don Russ. Really nice. And some more modern day Don Russ. We have Carl Lawson. We got Michael Vick on a 2012 Prestige card. Ken Harvey, a linebacker from the Cardinals, on the 1990 Pro set. T. Higgins on a Don Russ card. I heard that he wants a trade, guys. Where do you think he's going to end up? I don't know where he would end up, where he'd be that perfect fit. I wanted to say the Jets, but news just broke that the Jets have signed Mike Williams, which is, I think is a great pickup as well. So maybe the Texans? I, man, I just want the Texans to get somebody to help out some uh, C.J. Stroud, you know? We have Vinny Testaverde from the Browns on the upper deck. Josh Palmer on the um, Prism card. Linebacker from the Bills, Cornelius Bennett on a Pacific card. I've never heard of these cards. Um, 
and it doesn't, oh, 1991 from Pacific Card Trading, so that's interesting, very cool, very vintage. Greg Townsend, uh, Los Angeles Raider. Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, PED is not included. Sorry, guys, I had to say it, but yeah, man, what a fall from grace. I mean, that stinks for him. Uh, Patriots team leaders, we have a... Uh, I believe that says something Cunningham, Stanley Morgan, Tony McGee, and Mike Haynes on 1978. Wow, that is really old. <laughs> we got Miles Garrett on the prison. We got some more Don Russ. It's going to be Dre Greenlaw. And a throwback Saints card, Herbert Fakes Handoff. Huh, what year is this? It's going to be 1987 Tops from the Chewing Gum Pack. Very interesting. Wow, I've never seen a card like that. We got some Mark Andrews on back on the Donruss. Kent's Hole from the Bills. And our final card, which we've already seen, is Steve Largent from the playoff series. Very cool, but I think my favorite card was without a doubt that Terry Bradshaw. I'm not even a Steelers fan, guys. You know I'm a Bucks fan, but this is a sick looking card. And it's like in pretty solid condition. I mean, the corner is a little messed up there, you can see, but hey. Not bad, and it's a 2019 card, so sick. All right, let's get into the product we've never opened before. We're going to look at the Baseball Collector's Edge Box. And uh, this one I may have trouble with. It's very sealed up top. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I just rip it like that. All right, we can just rip the back. And we have some loose cards, I see. We got uh, Studio 91 puzzling cards. That's very interesting. Never seen those before. And then we got a bunch of loose cards. I'm going to try to get out as neatly as I can. And I'll toss that to the side. All right. So let's see who we got. We got a Tops, Randy Dobnik from the Twins, Dean Kremer, future stars of Nick Madrigal. Is this. This is not an actual autograph, right? No, yeah, that's. I think that's just print. Um, Mike Paxton from the Indians. Tony Armas from the A's. We got Sandy Alcantara from the Dolf uh, from the Dolphins. I'm thinking of football. Miami Marlins. Steven Matz on the Cardinals. Oh, we're gonna have some upside down cards, are we? Kettle Marta from the Diamondbacks, it looks like. Second baseman. And we got Eshelman from the Red Sox on a balanced insert. A cool looking guard. Never seen that before. Spike Owen on the tops. Red Sox. Jose de Jesus from the Royals on an upper deck. Joe McEwing from a 2002 Tops, and it's a Mets player, so that's going for the PC. Nice looking card, 2002. Backwards card, this can't be a hit, can it? Bill Risley from uh, a Don Russ card from the Seattle Mariners. And this is going to be 1995. Wow. We got a throwback Don Russ, a Terrell Reed, Terrell Reed, yeah, man, I probably butchered that. Bib Roberts, Bip Roberts on the really vintage. This is a Flair 97, and it's a paper card. So very easy to mess that up. I'm going to put that down gently. We got Mike Wilkins. It's a rookie card, it looks like, from um, San Antonio Mission. I guess this is like a college card. And uh, Arthur Rhodes. From the Oreos on the tops. We got Daryl Fle Darren Fletcher on a Fleer. Fleer 93. Bud Black. A throwbacks tops. I think this is an OG throwback tops. Angels Brian Harvey. Yeah, this is definitely a paper card. And this is definitely throwback. It's going to be a 1989 card. So that's exciting. We got Mike Bordix, shortstop, from the A's. 
Willie Hernandez. I think I'm familiar with that name, actually. And a Donruss 1987 guard. Joseph Martin Bover. Um, Donruss 1992. Wow. Fernando Val Val Valenzuela. Pitcher for the Dodgers on a 1990 Donruss. For the White Sox, we have Ron Karkovich on an upper deck, 1994. We have a Yankee. It's going to be Jim Leyritz from Fleer 91 series. Greg Swindle on a canceled team, so I cannot say that name. Uh, Fleer 1992. And it looks like we got another Greg Swindle on the 1991 from a team I cannot say. Robbie Thompson from the Giants on a Tops. Armando Rios on a Fleer Ultra. That's a nice looking card. Don Slot from the Yankees on a Donruss 89. Brian Hunter Stadium Club. We got, who is this here? Lenny Dystra. That name sounds very familiar. From the Phillies. And from the Royals, we got Mike McFarlane. Got Glenn Dishman from the Padres on the tops. Joe Girardi. Whoa, that's pretty cool. On a scorecard from the Cubs. Wow, that is actually really cool. All right, so Joe Girardi. That's really sick. Uh, Chuck Krim. On the uh, 40 Years of Baseball Tops card. Ken Daly on Flair. Throwback Tops of Dave LaPointe on Pirates. Atlee Hamaker and another Throwback Tops. We got Gerald Perry. And the Yankee, uh, Don Mattingly on the upper deck. Tom Bernoski. Dave Gallagher, Todd Burns on a Fleer, Andreas Galarraga on a Fleer, Willie Banks on a Fleer Ultra, 1991, Benito Santiago on a Fleer Ultra, 1991, and we got on the Expos, Jason Thompson from a Fleer. I think this might be minor league. I'm I'm not too... Oh, no. No. Texas Rangers, Mitch Williams. And finally, Neil Allen. Joe Girardi, I, I'm pretty sure he's a big name. I, I think he's a big name, but th that's pretty cool. And um, we got one pack that's sealed. I mean, I think it's unlicensed. I, yeah, Leaf. So I believe it is unlicensed. So we're just going to see what's inside. Alright, that's a bad rip. So, these are just puzzle pieces, I believe. Yep, yeah. and we got some cards here. That's going to be Cal Ripken Jr., Mickey Morandini, Ryan Sandberg from the Cubs. I, you know what? These may be licensed because they're showing the. The symbols of the teams, Padres, Atlee Hamaker, Barry Larkin, Roger McDowell, Kevin Mass, Moss, Jack McDowell, Ed Winston, and Daryl Strawberry. Wow, interesting. Well, that is all we have here for today. What did you guys think? I mean, they're repacks, so you know, you're going to get a mixture of vintage and... Um, modern day cards but um baseball had a hell of a lot more cards than the football a 25 card pack as i said i really like that terry bradshaw and i i don't know if that girardi is worth anything but it's joe girardi i'm pretty sure he was like a famous yankee or something like that that's pretty exciting so let me know what you guys thought did you like this do you want me to see do you want to see more repacked uh cards unboxed on the channel let me know guys i'm here to amuse you and of course to build up the collection let me know what you guys want to see. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. For now, JC out.